Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchbury on this Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. Jimmy Crosby here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Glad you're tuning in us this evening on an election Tuesday, spring election. Uh, Going to be wrapping up here real quick if you're tuning in at 6 p.m. Polls close at 8 p.m. If you're tuning after 8 p.m. on a Tuesday, April 5th, well, the polls are close. Well, I can tell you tomorrow on Talking Pittsburgh Update and the show, we'll have the unofficial results for you. Uh, and we'll see uh, what happened. But you'll get all that, too, tonight uh, from the local media. But we'll share the details on that tomorrow here on Talking Fitchburg. As far as what we've got planned for you on the show today, we'll get you the latest headlines. We're going to talk severe weather, continuing that coverage. It is Severe Weather Awareness Week. So we'll be uh, talking about some of the damage from severe weather uh, in the well, you just have to stick around and see, and we'll tell you about it and uh, try to get you prepped to be ready for another season. Plus, we'll check in with the Fitchburg Chamber and Business Bureau coming up here in a little bit. First, let's get to your headlines, and it is Happy, ha happy National Library Week. I'm just tongue-tied already, and we're just started. It's only a minute 10 in, and we just started. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Whether you visit in person or virtually, your library can connect you to resources you need. Now is the perfect time to check out fitchburgwi.gov backslash library. Or I love libraries.org for more information during this National Library Week. Yeah, get on in there. Our library is second to none. So get on in there. It's a lot of fun. And I uh, was just over there yesterday. I hadn't stepped foot in there in quite a while. And it, uh, it's still the great place that I remembered it was. So stop in, pick up a book, say hi. It's, it's right there in our backyard. Other news, reducing falls in older adults. Online registration is now open. Uh, according to the CDC, one in four older adults has a fall each year in Wisconsin and it leads the nation in fall-related deaths for people age 60 and older. The good news is falls are not a normal part of aging and can be prevented. The Stepping On program offered by the Fitchburg Senior Center and Safe Communities of Dane County has been researched uh, and been researched and proven to reduce falls by 31%. And that takes the place of Fitchburg Senior Center on Monday, April 18th through June 6th. It'll be skipping the 30th, for obvious reasons. Uh, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. The cost is $35. Register for the Stepping Up program by contacting the Fitchburg Senior Center at 608-270-4290. Or go to the website, fitchburgwi.gov, go to the website or go to the senior center part and then click on registration tab. You can uh, sign up that way. And this is in person only event. Waterway cleanups are scheduled for Saturday, April 23rd in the city of Fitchburg. The cleanups are scheduled from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And waterway cleanups include uh, 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 the, the list. And I, I don't know that we've seen the list yet. We should check out that and uh, double check and see. But uh, what will happen that day is uh, you can volunteer and uh, come on out and help us clean up those waterways. You're encouraged to wear boots and bring gloves. Vests, bags, and gloves will also be provided. Please be aware there are no facilities uh, for the restrooms during these uh, cleanups. So go drink a lot of coffee. That's my recommendation. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. April 23rd. All right, moving forward, moving forward, help seniors and families plan and coordinate and organize every detail of their move for a smooth and easy transition to their new home. With families geographically uh, dispersed uh, and not always able to assist with downsizing or moving, moving forward offers services to fit the needs of clients, of the clients. Uh, there are is no higher honor than assisting families in transition, and uh, we do that with compassion. Join the experts from Move Specialists, that's Kathleen Newman, in person or Zoom at the Fitchburg Senior Center on Thursday, April 21st at 1 p.m. You can uh, register by calling 608-270-4290 or head over to the website program registration tab on the homepage of the Senior Center's website. Wisconsin Weather Radio isn't the only source for weather information. I feel like this should say Jeremy, because this seems like an Andrew story here. Uh, WEA through your cell phone can alert you when severe weather is in your area. To learn more, all you got to do is click on that uh, link, uh, which is at the Ready uh, Wisconsin uh, website. Uh, this is a great way to get the weather or wireless emergency alerts. Uh, when you don't have a weather radio, we all know that I am crucial and been very picky about Andrew not having a weather radio. 
but he assures me that he gets his other emergency information uh, via the wireless emergency alert thing. Turn it on. Um, it's so important to have. And uh, we talked about it yesterday during the, the uh, digest about having those alerts and receiving them in multiple ways. This is a great way to receive those. Um, while, you know, no thunderstorm is alike, and a lot of times it gets severe weather, and sometimes it doesn't produce, sometimes it does. When it's your property, your stuff, your life, your loved one, you want to be alerted before something happens. And there's been some rough storms that have happened across the U.S. and right here in Wisconsin. And if you look back in December of this past year, 2021, that is, and I mean, 10 tornadoes, and there was significant damage all over the place. So you want to be alert, stay up on it, turn that on on your cell phone. It's super easy and so important. And we'll talk more about severe weather coming up in the digest today and the rest of this week. Turning our attention to Flight of Lights. I love this. I haven't even taken the kids to it yet. Uh, going on now through April 17th at the Dane County Regional Airport. Nightly, 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. It's open to all. There is no charge. And it's the third annual, a third already annual Flight for Lights. Kind of crazy, but it's so much fun. If you haven't been out to it, it's so cool. Flight for Lights features six of uh, even bigger themed spectacular light displays. Six. Wow. That sounds really cool. Plus, watch for brand new special surprises in this year's displays. As a tribute to the first responders, tropical vacation, spring blooming, cheer on Wisconsin sports and our heroes and the healthcare providers and favorite destinations. Those are the lineups there. You'll have to check it out, see what they are, which sounds pretty cool. And if you haven't done it, it's so much fun. In fact, we usually when we do it, we go through it once, then we go through it again, <laughs> because it's just that good. Plus I love the airport. You know me, I'm a nerd on a lot of things. All right, let's turn our attention to the bird flu and the outbreak that is happening. Avian influenza has been detected in wild and domestic birds in Wisconsin. While it poses little risk to humans, it's important to take steps to prevent its spread from birds to people, including avoiding close contact with wild birds and poultry, not touching dead birds or wildlife, monitoring for flu symptoms if you have had contact with birds or wildlife, and getting a flu shot as well. You can learn more about the avian influenza at dhs.wisconsin.gov backslash outbreaks backslash index. I know you're like index. That's just part of it. Uh, and of course, we share the links to all of these uh, stories that we uh, talk about here on Talking Pittsburgh when we post up the headlines. So you can check out this and all the stories that we went through today the, uh, and learn more from what we share. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up the digest. Severe weather awareness continues. We're going to be talking about what happens during some of those severe storms. That's coming up next right here on Talking Pittsburgh.